Let's graph the equation for y equals x plus 8. And we'll do it two ways. First, we'll use a table of values. We'll put values in for x, find out what y is, and then we'll graph those points here on a graph paper. After that, we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula, see if we have the right answer. So let's start out by putting 0 in for x. If I had 0x, zero, 0 plus 8, that's just 8. I can choose any values for x, but I really want them to show up on my graph paper. So if I chose negative numbers, that would give me a smaller number than 8. That would fit. So I'm going to say negative 2. Negative 2 plus 8, that gives me 6. How about negative 4? Negative 4 plus 8, that's just 4. So again, you could choose any values, but these will give me points on the graph. So let's graph them. I have 0 for x, 8 for y. So x is 0, y, that's up here, 8. That's our first point. Then I have negative 2 for x, 6 for y. Negative 2 up to 6. And you could stop here and draw your line, but I like to do three points just to make sure I've got everything correct. So let's do negative 4x and 4y. And all of these points, they make a nice line here for y equals x plus 8. Let's put a line through that. Put arrows on the end to show that it goes to infinity, and this is the line for y equals x plus 8. Let's use slope-intercept formula to check our work. So we have y equals mx plus b, and b, that's the y-intercept. So that's where we're going to cross the y-axis. So we go to the y-axis, and we go up to 8 right there. That's our first point. Now we're going to look at x, and we're going to consider this 1x. It's the same thing as x, but now we can say 1 over 1. That's equal to 1. And that gives us rise over run. So by making this a fraction here, we have rise over run. We can go to the y-intercept. We rise 1 and go over 1. And we're kind of out of space now. Let's go back to the y-intercept, go down 1 and over 1 in the opposite direction. Down 1, over 1, down 1. You can keep doing this, and you can see all of these points there on our line here for y equals x plus 8. So we did this first part correctly. This is Dr. B with the graph for the linear equation y equals x plus 8. Thanks for watching.